I'm Tanya Lux, and in this short video, I'll show you how to optimize the pressure sensitivity of your stylus. Painter works very closely with Wacom to ensure that our technology is ultimately responsive to stylus interaction, and I happen to be working with a Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. Even if you're using another kind of tablet, the experience should closely emulate traditional media. If we select an expressive brush, by pressing lightly or applying firmer pressure to the tablet, you can gradually vary the stroke width, the opacity level, and you can even express very little to maximum canvas texture in your strokes. Because every artist has a different level of pressure, even while you're switching between brushes, you may need to change the pressure that you're using with a different type of media. This is why you can use both Wacom and Corel Painter to make adjustments to brush calibration that's going to help more closely emulate your style. And you can use Painter's calibration if you're using another type of tablet as well. So when you're using a Wacom tablet, you can adjust the global pen pressure using the Wacom Desktop Center. I'm going to go ahead and launch that, and I can see my variety of pens. I happen to have an art pen um, that allows full rotation of my brush strokes. I also have my Pro Pen 2, which is the stylus that we'll focus here on today. So let's go ahead and calibrate that. I'm going to go under the pen settings. So I'm going to give it a level of pressure that is very standard for myself here. Once you've chosen the setting, try using an expressive brush and painter to test the feel out and see if this is working for you. So let's do a few test strokes here in Painter and things are feeling pretty good. Now let's try Painter's calibration tool. You can find this on the property bar. If you go to advanced, you will see right in the middle here is brush calibration. Let's go ahead and enable brush calibration. And although I could begin to come in and adjust the sliders manually. The best way to do this is to use the same kind of pressure curve and painter that we just did in the Wacom properties. Okay, I cleared the canvas. I'm gonna launch brush calibration. And because we're using a 6B pencil, I'm gonna give it a light to harder pressure. Maybe do that a couple times. And now we're gonna come out and test this brush. So very light to harder. Light. I'm not quite getting the light pressure that I want, so let's try this one more time. I'm going to do very light to hard, and let's see now. Ah, okay, that's better. So sometimes you need to try it a couple times, but once you've got it set, what I didn't point out is that we're actually applying this to the current brush variant. If you turn this off and give it a sample, that will give a global pressure to Painter, much like what we did with the Wacom tablet properties. So what I recommend is that you, you know, test out the variety of brushes that you think are really going to be impacted by using the pressure calibration and in calibrating each of those individual brush variants, you will have a much more natural experience. I really hope that you enjoy the new Painter 2022 and happy painting. I can see that that made a big difference there.